Now, NASA says Orion has set a new record of reaching the farthest point from Earth at a distance of 432,000 kilometers. The record until now held by Apollo 13 was set in 1970. NASA held a briefing on Monday to share the insights on Orion's lunar flyby as part of the Artemis 1 mission. Now, the orbital departure of the capsule will take place on the 1st of December to return to Earth. The preparations for the arrival on the 11th of December are in process. The capsule was launched from Florida's Kennedy, Kennedy Space Station, pardon me, Kennedy Space Center on the 16th of November. The 26-day mission is designed to improve its systems, make sure that it is safe to carry astronauts. Monday marked the midpoint of the mission. The briefing was also to look at all the possible changes for improving the mission and lowering any risks. We are looking at adding additional objectives um, and the halfway point in this mission uh, allows us and affords us an opportunity to step back and um, and look at what our margins are and where we could be a little smarter to buy down risk and, and understand the spacecraft's performance for uh, crewed flight on the very next missions. The Iran capsule reached the surface of Moon on Monday. The crew capsule was then propelled into a wide orbit around the Moon on the third day. Orion maneuvered its solar arrays and captured Moon with a camera mounted on the end of its ray. The capsule and its three test dummies had entered the lunar orbit more than a week after this launch. The capsule will be put on the correct trajectory before it returns to Earth with a Pacific splashdown. We've got 31 of the 124 baselined objectives complete. Uh, we have 37.5% uh, of those objectives in progress, or 46 of the 124, and then 37.5% uh, uh, yet to be started. A lot of those are uh, essentially tied to uh, entry, descent, landing, and the post-splashdown time frame. So adding the uh, seven, uh, what we're calling real-time objectives, uh, adds uh, above and beyond that, that 124 objective content in terms of um, uh, priorities two and four. And then priority three, retrieving the spacecraft, we will again achieve that on uh, entry and splashdown and recovery day. Now this mission, it's seen as a trial run before it sends a crew capsule for a round trip to the moon next year. With this mission, NASA is planning to return people to the lunar surface after a gap of almost 50 years in 2025. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.